Well, here we are, lazing about at Folkestone. At Black Horse Farm. Sue's just popped over for a shower. And I'm sitting here thinking, what should I be doing? I'm just watching Fred Dibner on the telly. He's <laughs> got a text. Well, it's been a long day. Joe and Sheila were taking Harley, their dog, down to where their son lives in South Devon earlier in the week. And unfortunately, their motorhome developed a fault on the way down and broke down. So the AA were called and they were rescued and managed to limp down to Devon. They contacted the Mercedes dealership locally and uh, they've been helping them all week. The long story cut short is that today, the very last minute, they managed to get a breakthrough and they found a fault which was a bad connection. It's all to do with the ECU and the electronics um, under the bonnet, if you like, of the Mercedes motorhome. So they got the van back at lunchtime. They've now loaded it all with the personal items again, which they stored at their son's. And now they're making their way back to Folkestone. Well, good morning. Just turned the electric off and the gas off. Uh, we've been over the shower block, topped up with water. Just put a couple of watering cans in. Just as easy, really, as to do it over there. And uh, just seen Joe. He's um, parked just the other side of the hedge. So, uh, didn't see him last night. We got our heads down about 10 o'clock. And they rolled in just after that, I think, so. We've had a good night's sleep and uh, time now is uh, about quarter to six. So we're doing okay. We're, we're going to leave here about six o'clock and go down to the Folkestone Eurotunnel terminal. So uh, that'll be the next time I speak to you. We'll run the uh, dash cam so you can see the entrance into the site. And we've got to firstly look for pet reception, which if I remember last time was on the right hand side. Been across and done the pet, pet passport where um, the sun's come out now. It's gonna be a lovely day, but the wind is cold. Um, we're just watching the board up there, just way in the distance behind me. There is a board, Sheila and Joe, just beside me here. 
they made it. <laughs> Came in last, last night quite late, quite late. Um, and that's now saying please proceed. So um, I'll show you the board and then we'll get off. Well, what a beautiful afternoon it is. We're at Domaine de Drancourt, which is um, in the Bay of Somme. <laughs> Had to think about that. But uh, we've got a beautiful pitch here. Um, we're right next door to Sheila and Joe. And um, we've got plenty of space. Nice shady spot under these trees. Dappled shade. And it's uh, mid-twenties in Celsius. So it's pretty good. This morning it was chilly coming off the off the uh, tunnel. Um, we went to the supermarket on the way here and boy that was chilly. Uh, definitely needed a sweater on this morning but today now it, we're gonna have to be careful we don't get sunburnt. We're gonna wander around the site and I'll take a few pictures of the site. I'll 
going to need to be careful because lots of families and children here um, this weekend and uh, there's um, lots of facilities but the chateau here is beautiful so there's shared on Joe's pitch lots of trees here huge bit of grass we're on we're around here really lovely So what's Hello. your first impressions of this site oh, then, Sue? Beautiful. Yeah, I'm really impressed. Another oh, we've, got, we've got all these lovely trees. Yeah, it's, it's listed as a five-star site. Um, and one or two of the re reports on the Caravan Club site, the feedback was a little bit negative, but I, th I think that if there's something going down on the, on, on the rally field, it can be a bit noisy down there. But we're going to investigate. Um, yeah. There's uh, a little chaff inch. Yeah, there's yes. lots of birds, isn't there? That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So, and I um, love these trees we'll that we're wander, surrounded by. Give you protection we'll wander from away from the, um, down this way, away from the chateau, and then we'll end up with seeing the chateau at the end. He won't do it now. As soon as I turn the camera on, he get all shy. Oh, He's got pictures all the way down here, and uh, some vacant pictures just here. And uh, this is the main facility block, and the field, main field, is round here, where you got uh, some um, park homes and camping as well. So this is the main facility block and they're just walking down the avenue with all these trees here and right down the bottom I think there's an open field. Now here we've found the mini golf which we saw people uh, getting their golf clubs and things while we were in reception this is where they've been playing mini golf and over here there's some table tennis and uh, and whatnot over here all outside uh, screened by these lovely bushes uh, just here is a lovely big field with the hedges scattered about and I think that would be a fabulous rally field you could get 20 or so caravans or motorhomes in there and then you lead through to the next bit where there's a big open field and uh, <laughs> Sophie's rolling in something but this is where they have uh, multi-sports multi -sports and things and then there's a Netball. big field down the bottom so there's basketball in there He's walking through the trees here now and there's a lovely big field, open field through the nice. gap there. You can walk by the way. You can walk either way, you can walk all the way along there. And also, here's the field, all down this way in the shade. Lovely little dog walk, it's nice and cool. So we're down the other side of the uh, field where there's a mix of tours and park homes amongst the trees. Very pretty. Lovely, lovely. There's so many birds. And there's some more pictures the other side of the trees here. Which is very pretty. As well. Really lovely. Lovely site, and the park homes this side are well established. A little bit of a breeze blowing down this end of the park.
So this is the front of the chateau here. Beautiful building and uh, reception's just on the right, uh, looking up the hill at the building. And to my right behind these hedges here is the outdoor pool, which you might be able to hear. There's quite a few people in there, so I can't film at the moment. But uh, reception is just over, over here. And the restaurant and the bar. On. Say that again? We, we, the shit and I are going to try the body pony. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you got to sit on the saddle and place your feet on the stirrups, put your hands on the handlebars while exhaling, pull the handles and push your legs forward, then relax gradually while breathing in. For more intensely, place your feet on the upper stirrups. Gosh, wow. mm. <laughs> on the upper stirrups. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure we can do, do you think that. That's can't been we? translated. <laughs> There's a body haulage. There we are. And a body ski, body bellow elliptic. Yeah, that's a little warm to do it right now, but you know, first thing in the morning, so. Well, well, we've got this, we've got that all lined up for Joe. Well, Joe's going to come over about half past five in the morning, is he? Yeah, he's going <laughs> to do the body pony. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah. You play patank over there, look, Joe. You're good at patank, aren't you? How the hell is that? You know, bowl. Bonk. Oh, how oh, bowling, yeah. Yeah, patank. You were the yeah. champion, weren't you? Yeah. Suffolk yeah. Centre champion. Yeah, I was, wasn't I? You a were. A while ago. Tw 2012, that was. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who did I beat now? I think you beat Sue, didn't you? Lady yeah, Sue. You did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I did it on that half round, that bit on grass would have beat you. Yeah, she was good on grass, but she couldn't cope with the proper surface, could she, mate? No, mate. Yeah. Oh. yeah, she's making excuses now, Joe. She? Making excuses She didn't now. like the rough ground, did no, she? No, she? no, I didn't. No. I like the grass better. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. Trevor do as well. Yeah, I like the grass. <laughs> so that's the laundry. There you go. This side is disabled facilities and also ladies and gents toilets on the right. Just here I can't go in because there's people in and out. But uh, they're all very nice. Children's play area. Lovely. Well, we just had that lovely cold drink and we're just walking back to the vans now. And, uh, <laughs> we're right near the restaurant. This is the restaurant just here and the bar area. And, uh, very nice with all the flowers. Beautiful, lovely setting. And just behind the chateau here, there's more activities for the children with a little what they call a mini club so they've obviously got uh, an entertainment section for the children it's a lovely family site it got some, got that feel about it and just over to my right here beyond these pictures these are beautiful pictures with uh, little sheds with barbecues and things in them and uh, picnic tables super pictures next to the shop and a nice little shop here I'm going to go inside and order some bread for tomorrow morning before we leave well we've come on our walk and uh, we come to a little junction here and uh, the parish chapel I think that's what that is down there um, and we're going towards St. Valerie and there's another one of these. Not many cars, about one or two up and down. We're in the villages, between the villages and uh, this is quite something.
and the girls are down. There we are, there's the sign to the campsite. And uh, we're about a kilometre from it, and I think there's about a kilometre to go before we get to St. Valerie, so we're about halfway. And over here, there's uh, a bit of information in French. I'll put it up on screen so that you can screen grab and if you want to have a little read. Beautifully signposted around here. And over in the field we've got the hay being cut. We've been watching the farmer in his large tractor cutting the field behind the hedge there. There he goes. Well, we come into a little restaurant for some uh, refreshments and got a dessert each, and I'm, that's mine. <laughs> uh, Sue got a creme brulee. You weren't sure what it was. I wasn't sure what it was, but I'm pleased I chose it. And we've got creme brulee because creme brulee. That and profiteroles. We only knew, no, only two things we knew what they were. And they haven't got any profiteroles. And, and Joe is sulking because he wants milk for his tea. <laughs> Sue's just noticed the gendarmerie, uh, the old police house. I didn't take the picture of the outside of the restaurant, it was 
just a little cafe on the side that's right down there one by the roof, uh, centre of picture there uh, we've walked down the road now um, apologies for that but the staff in there were lovely um, we uh, got by with our usual English French translation <laughs> but, uh, I say Joe yes mate we found a hat shop didn't we well yeah yeah you bought yours mine's already bought yours is from the UK yeah yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. nice hat yes we couldn't resist it and I've got a 10 euro hat We're actually at the um, near the marina now, down at uh, St. Valery, and it's still pretty. We've been all the way along the main street with all the little independent shops, hardly any empty shops. And uh, there's a free tuk 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 tour. There's a tuk tuk, is there? There's a free tuk, yeah, tuk tour up yeah, there. Yeah, 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 free. Well, yeah, about ain't it's free. It's empty, I yeah, think. Yeah, it's available. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, been wanting a, a ride in a tuk tuk all day. Uh, these little modern day ones, lot over here. At uh, hired bikes as well. But over yonder is the the marina. We'll just take a quick look over at the marina, and then we're going to start making our way back because we've been in in the town here now for about four and a half hours wandering about and having a whale of a time beautiful place there's a handle there we said joe could hold on to that and lean over and take a picture of that bird's nest yeah but he weren't so keen he weren't keen no the swallows nesting Sad in the wall sadly yeah, yeah. Joe's still taking photographs. His phone will be full soon. <laughs> this is the visitor centre. And next to the visitor centre, we've noticed this um, little, looks like a miniature steam railway, um, looks like a miniature steam railway turntable. And the lines are here. I can't see anything working today, but we're gonna walk a little further down and see if we can see. Maybe it's on at the weekends. But, uh, the marina's just down here on the left. So here's the marina, and we're uh, right next to the crane where they lift the boats out, just here. And uh, some beautiful gardens up the road here. It just goes on and on. It's a lovely place. Well, that's about the end of today's video, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've um, had quite a start to our adventures. And um, what's this place called, Sue? I know you can ask me that. <laughs> Don't bother to ask. Saint Valerie, uh, with a Y on the end. Saint, Saint Valerie, and uh, we've had a brilliant walk this afternoon, haven't we? A nice lunch, and uh, well, you've seen really beautiful architecture. Yeah, fabulous and some place. shops. Shops for galore. And a market stall. So there's a bit for everybody here. You look like a shaggy um, dog. But it's, it's a little bit blowy, but it's not too bad, is it? So anyway, we'll see you on the next video, and um, thank you for watching and uh, we continue our little adventure in France. Bye then. Bye. Bye.